today I'm going to set this up so I can grow lettuce all throughout the summer, even in the heat. But I've got a couple little tips. Just don't tell anybody you got it from me, please. So this is the window box that's been on the house since I moved here back in 88. And I have used this to grow a few things and then it became such a pain I stopped using it. But now I've got milk cartons and I collect milk cartons and I fill them up with leaf matter and everything. And then a little bit of soil on the top and I grow walking onions in here, lettuce. But we're now gonna go into warmer weather. So let me show you some tips on how we can make this look good, but we can also grow lettuce in the heat of the summer. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do something and I don't want you to tell them you got it from me, but there are other ways of doing this. If you go to different places like Home Depot and Lowe's, they have all these samples and you're allowed to take one of each or anything you want. The guy said, take all you want. I didn't do that. So I grabbed some samples and these are floor tiles. Now don't worry. Oh, they're plastic. They're toxic. They're not going in the plants. They're going to strictly be for a little bit of look. Now you can ask them when you go in, if they've got any floor tiles out that have been discontinued. Cause a lot of times I've heard they had these stacks, the guy said, and they want them out because they no longer sell this color or this model and they'll give them to you. You can of course get this flooring real cheap sometimes. And all you have to do is buy a foot and it will be cheap and they'll cut it for you in the store because it's on the roll. Keep that in mind. Now, I've done that before and you can get a foot for sometimes like $10, even less, especially when they're selling it by the foot and the price is reduced because they're clearing them out. So let's say I want to just, let's, let's just go something simple. These are all different. So we're going to have to do it a little differently. Come, let's, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push them in the front so it covers the milk carton. See? So let me grab, these are stony and these are wood. I think we'll go with the wood. And I'm going to put them across and it's, it's just to cover up the milk cartons. Nobody has to know you have milk cartons. So excuse my back and let's get this in. I haven't done this yet, so I'm, I didn't color coordinate anything. You, of course, can color coordinate it. Now you can also go and buy placemats and do the same thing. And this way they'll match because these aren't going to match. But look how nice that looks. Now it's going to also give a little bit of shade protection. And that is going to be really good for your plants as well. And then you can adjust it to the height or any way you want. I might go with this one right now. Notice I'm putting the line on the bottom so it's a little smoother looking. But look at this. Voila! You have no more milk cartons in here. Is that not cool? Look at that. Now I am going to do one more thing. And this is really cool. And this works really good. Is I'm going to put some tomato steaks in here. You can also put one on the side. I didn't right now, but of course you can slip one in there. Isn't that nice looking? And you can bring it as low or as high as you want. You can adjust it as time goes on. So we're going to put one there and I'm going to grab a couple zip ties. I'm going to put one over here. And we're going to zip tie in the tomato steak. Now I don't have to, but I want to make sure it does not go anywhere. And the window box has got this little strap on it. So I'm putting it into the strap and that will just hold it in place. Let me do the other one. This is like a quick hack of fix it for a lot of different plants. And I'm going to put this, this will keep everything still so it won't blow. I don't think it's going to blow anyways, but regardless, this will be really good. Of course, you could use bread ties or wire. Now you go, whoa, what is that going to do? Right now it's shady, but in the morning it's really sunny. And when it starts to get really hot, like 80, 90 degrees, my lettuce isn't going to do good. My walking onions don't mind. They could go either or, but let me show you something. Do you know what this is? a sunshade for your car. Well, let me tell you something. I've got one in the car that's about four years old and it's never fallen apart yet. And it's a cheap one from the dollar stores. You can, I know this is probably glaring on you. You can get them at Walmart and Target and a lot of different stores. You don't need a super big one. This costs $3 at a dollar store, though sometimes they're on sale. 
So let me show you how good this looks. So here it is open. Now, of course, you could cut it to size if you want. You could lower it or raise it. But you can take this off and put it on as needed. And that is what's so great about it. I'm going to use close pins right now. But you can use metal clips, anything you want. And this is going to give you shade. Now, this has straps. Now, for lettuce, Lettuce will take full shade without an issue. Okay, I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit. So keep that in mind. Your walking onions are going to want sun. And when we have all cloudy days, I can take it down. But this has been great to use for all kinds of plants. It's a quick fix. Plus, I can lower it. If I was just going to use it for the day, I could take it and lower it down so they get a little bit of sun. Now you're covering up your beautiful tile work, <laughs> your flooring work. But you've got the idea that this is something you can use to shade your plants in a pinch. Also, the outdoor greenhouses that I make, you've seen those, and I'm going to make more. You can use that for this, and you can cut it. If you were using it for something, you could cut strips of holes if you wanted to do a little sunshade, sunshade. Right now, we're just going to do this quick because it's been so sunny. We're actually in the 80s, and I'm going to protect my lettuce. And let me tell you something. The lettuce knows the sun is out. It is catching enough sun rays from here, and it's going to grow fantastic. My onions, on the other hand, may suffer a little bit because they love full sun, but I can always move the onions and start growing more lettuce if I see any problems. The other thing I could do is I could take this off, put another stake in the middle, which I don't know if I've got a stake here, but if I did have a stake here, excuse my back again, and I could just concentrate on the lettuce. So this is so versatile. This is crazy. It is the easiest, fun thing to do, and it's perfect for outside. Now, I can just tack one more tack up here. And again, you can use metal binders as well. I've got this. You can get these at the dollar store. And you can just tack this up like this. And now I've got it covering my lettuce, and I've got my onions open. So think about it in a pinch, especially you in the desert. These things last really good. And if they fall apart, they're so cheap. But you can cover your plants. You can use this on the top. You can use this around your plants. You can use it everywhere. And I'm going to be using quite a few of these on the deck because I have a very south-facing deck here where I grow a lot of vegetables all year. This is going to be a lifesaver for my plants. And I think if you think about it, this may work for some of you hotter areas out there too to save some of your plants. And this is fantastic. Is that not cool? Now I'm going to still be getting lettuce. It may not look like a lot of lettuce, but we harvest every day. And then you want to cycle through lettuce because lettuce has a short lifespan. And as you're picking, the plant's going, wait a minute, hey, that's, we got into a new topic. But anyways, as you pick the lettuce, it wants the bulk, start growing some more. And this is going to be fantastic. I love it. So I hope I gave you an idea on how to shade your plants on a warm, sunny day. And this is going to give me a new crop of lettuce, or at least a bigger crop of lettuce. With that, have a wonderful day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. I think I better set up the walking onions there and set up a whole field of lettuce here. And as usual, I have more to say. Now, the first thing you can do if you don't like the glare is you could get some material, fabric, or even some garden flags. And you can staple onto this sunshade visor. It's the easiest thing to work with. Put any decor that you want on there. This is where we really need three hands. Now, I'm using a plain old paper stapler here. You could do it before you put it up. And you can decorate it for your garden or your deck whatever you want to do and of course you can change it out you know if you've watched my past videos that i have used aluminum foil for years for reflective light in the winter so we're going to come back later on with this as reflective light but today as we're going you know into summer though we're still only in spring 
This is going to be great for some of our vegetables that don't like sunlight. They want more shade than sun, but they like the warmth of the warm spring and summer. This is going to work perfect. It has been, and I should have shared this with you a long time ago. And I was thinking, let's get this going today because you know what? Today we're going to be in the 80s, and today I want to save my lettuce. Now, if you're in a windy area, of course you can make a little wooden frame and tack it on that way. It would be more secure as well. So I hope I've given you some more tips. And tell me, what do you think about this? I just love how they last and you can move them around as you need them. Such a cute flag. Zoe thinks so and I do too. I picked this one up at Dollar Tree. Little gnomes and honey. She likes it. That's important.